Hi everyone, I hope you are ready for a little science lesson because today we will be talking about black holes. We are sure you've heard of them, but we also bet that none of you can explain what they really are. Why are we so sure? Because not even the leading scientists in this exciting field have the complete answer to this. In this video, we will go through some interesting facts and speculations about black holes. Fasten your seatbelts and let's get ready to blast into this video. What we know about the black holes. While there are few certainties when it comes to black holes, a few things are generally understood. For instance, we know that black holes are a region somewhere in the space-time continuum, and that nothing can escape this region because of its huge gravitational force. And when we say nothing, we mean absolutely nothing. Not even small particles or light can escape after they've been swallowed by a black hole. Black holes are so powerful that they have the ability to swallow stars that are more massive than our own sun. Another thing that scientists have discovered is that when a black hole eats a star or a lot of gas nearby, it generates a very strong flow of particles around its edges, which scientists have dubbed as Hawking radiation. It's basically a huge ring of very strong hot fire surrounding the black hole. If a black hole starts devouring a huge star, it will start to shoot out massive and powerful X-rays, which causes the black hole to become a quasar. A quasar is considered to be the brightest object in the whole universe thousands of times brighter than entire galaxies. In order for a quasar to appear, the black hole has to be absolutely massive, meaning that it needs to have more than a million or even a billion times more mass than our own sun has. Can you even imagine how big and heavy that is? It's unfathomable. Are we in danger from black holes? After hearing this introduction, you probably have a good idea how strong and potentially dangerous black holes might be. Which brings us to a major question asked by scientists and laypeople alike. Are we in danger of being swallowed by one? Luckily for us, the answer is no, because the closest black hole to Earth is about 1,500 light years away. It also won't come close to us anytime soon. This black hole is actually one of the smallest discovered so far, with a mass only three times that of the Sun. Only three times the size of the Sun may still sound pretty big, but it really is quite small compared to most of the other black holes scientists have discovered. This small black hole even has a cute name to match. Scientists call it the Unicorn, because it is one of a kind and it's located in the constellation Monoceros. The Unicorn. How fitting. Moving black holes. Another reason why we are generally considered safe from black holes is that most of them don't move. They just stay in place and swallow up anything that gets too close to them. The reason we said most is because, recently, scientists have discovered a huge black hole speeding through the universe. This is surprising because for a long time it was assumed that black holes couldn't move at all. Not only that, but this particular black hole is moving at an incredible speed of 110,000 miles per hour, and scientists aren't sure why it's happening. Luckily, this fast-moving black hole is about 230 million light years away from Earth, and there's no chance it'll reach us anytime soon. There was also another moving black hole spotted back in 2017, with a speed calculated to be around 5 million miles per hour. The speed of this supermassive black hole is very puzzling, because in order for something so big to move so fast, there would need to be a huge force to cause it to move, and scientists have no idea what may have triggered it. One theory suggests that these moving black holes collided with other bigger ones. Black Holes Singularity Moving back to black holes in general, one of the most important principles is that every black hole has something called a singularity at its center. However, there are two types of black holes, rotating and non-rotating. Each of these black holes has a different looking singularity. Astronomers say that in the case of non-rotating ones, the singularity takes the shape of a single point at its center, while the rotating black holes have a ring of singularity at their center due to the movement. The singularity of a black hole can be thought of as a place that has infinite density. Amazing! What happens if a person enters a black hole? Now that we've explained what black holes are and how they behave, we are left with a very interesting question, which is, what would theoretically happen to a person if they were drawn into a black hole? You might think that getting close to a black hole 
ball would instantly kill you, and in the case of smaller black holes you would probably be right. With their strong gravitational pull, they could stretch out your body or even crush you completely. The exact result is just speculation by the scientists. If a black hole was a lot bigger, maybe about a hundred times bigger than the sun, things might end differently. Scientists think that if you entered a big black hole, something very strange and unusual would happen. They say that the black hole would split you in two, or in other words, clone you. Not only would it make two of you, but it would also make two completely different realities. One of your copies in one reality would be incinerated by the heat, while the other you would plunge directly into the black hole. Scary, but totally fascinating, right? Dark matter theory. Recently, scientists have come up with a theory that would explain why black holes form quicker than the galaxies that surround them, and why they are impossible to be viewed directly. They suggest that black holes might be formed out of dark matter, which doesn't interact with light. This may be a plausible reason why we aren't able to see them. The scientists involved in this theory came up with the idea while observing Sagittarius A, which is the black hole in the center of the Milky Way galaxy. This supermassive black hole has about 4 million times more mass than the Sun, yet it cannot be seen directly. Isn't the universe such an amazing place? To sum things up, there are still a lot of questions surrounding black holes. We still don't have any certain answers about what black holes are made of or what would happen if we try to go inside them, only theories and speculations. However, scientists are observing and researching the universe every day, and each new day brings more discoveries and more questions. Who knows, maybe one day in the future we will get all of the answers to our questions and everything we thought we knew about black holes and the universe would be completely wrong. If that happens, we'll be sure to let you know, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified when we post a new video.